background. We're going live. You gotta love the skull logo. There's not enough skull logos in the world, and I really like this one. Ooh, lots of covers. Their, their most famous one. How much time do we have, Jeff? Like two seconds? No, here. We're here. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode nine of Age of Ashes, where we, we are represented today by a thin, thin red line. This is, um, this is very disconcerting. <laughs> uh, but that's okay, because... Um, We'll, uh, we'll get sorted. So we are going around the room, a, sh a short order, two dwarves, not four, and one cleric who had, well, his face slammed by a door. It's, uh, it's pretty exciting here <laughs> <laughs> at Dark Galaxies Gaming. Shout out to our sponsor. Thank you so much to the people at Fantasy Grounds for making this possible, for sending us the core books as well as the Adventures Book 1 and 2 for the Age of Ashes Pathfinder 2nd Edition Adventure Path so that we might enjoy them, get to know Fantasy Grounds, learning as we go, as well as live stream here for Dark Gaming Galaxies, as well as a brand new sponsorship on the way for Rob Hammond's game, Static Fear, where soon by the end of the month, hopefully, we will be just in time for scary halloween we'll be running frequency of screams the starfinder seventh level adventure path also courtesy sponsored by fancy grounds we are such lucky lucky people shout out to Corey thomas as our proxy for making all this possible but tonight tonight everyone can see the board no one can see us there's mystery in the air <laughs> So while we're, we're clearing this up, I'd like to go back in time to before the strange boy got a door slammed in his face. I'd like to go back a few days to prior to the burning of the town hall, prior to the call of heroes, where the town is quite literally a buzz with excitement and preparation for the upcoming call of heroes event. Wizards and townsfolks alike, as it is customary every year, they head on down to Wizard's Grace. But it's not the only tavern. There's another tavern that doubles as a temple to one... What is the name of your deity, sir? Caden. And... Talion. What? <laughs> and, and what's this delightful deity all about, could you tell us? Is the... Happy go lucky. God of drink. <laughs> it's the major thing. Oh, okay. Uh, also, like, God of freedom and that kind of stuff. But his, his mostly thing is God of drink. All right. And uh, is there anything, uh, any lore you can give us on this guy? Anything special that uh, sets him out amongst and apart from the other gods? Well, the, K the Kmart is, gods of Galorian. Yeah, he, he is the mortal god who became a god, I guess, through the challenge of... Oh, my. <laughs> no, you're doing great. Nope, nope. It's uh, the Star Stone Challenge, I do believe. I think that's what it was called. So anyway, Which, you, which you, is you, a, it's a series of tests for any mortal that can take every... I think it's like 100 years they allow... A mortal or mortals to go through all the tests and if they conclude all the tests they become they enter godhood Ooh. and he did hit on a drunken dare <laughs> is how he's able to proceed all through the the multiple tests and challenges tell us tell us more <laughs> tell us what, no um 
so your character, could you describe him on a good day? On a good day? Yeah. Okay. What, what race is he is? What does he look like? What does he wear? You know, let's let's get back into it. Because he, he made a magical appearance right in the end, just in time for us to just let the shit, like literally shut the door in the face. But, you know, surly, surly dwarves, what can you do? Yeah. All right. Well, he is a uh, human male. Mm-hmm. At the, the lovely age of just turned 17. <laughs> Fairly young, but uh, six foot tall, 180 pounds. Wears the typical, uh, on, when, it, when he's not dressed for battle or adventure, he just wears his holy schmucks, as they would call, tabard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, brown hair, blue eyes. Uh, pretty much, you know, unshaven, unkept <laughs> on, on a good day. <laughs> All right. On on a bad day, much worse. <laughs> far, far, <laughs> far, far, far worse. <laughs> so, pulling up a map here with Fantasy Grounds. Now, I have my staple image of Breach Hill, so that no matter where we move around, people can kind of get an overview of the entire town. Um, but Caden's keg is literally in the middle of town. It is on the northwest side of the river, which splits the town into like two thirds on the northwest and one third on the southeast. Um, but, you know, your main crossroad, as it were, you know, you're, we're, we're talking smackety dab. OK. Um, and a little lore. OK, this this rousing, well-kept tavern is one of Breach Hill's most popular places to enjoy a hearty meal and a pint of ale. And it doubles as the temple of Caden Kalele. K- K- oh, I can't even say this guy. <laughs> you can't say most names. <laughs> Katie. <laughs> CC. <laughs> there you go. You and me, CC. You know, yeah. <laughs> it's like said JC. Um, the free willing accident of God. The proprietor and primary ban- bartender and head priestess is Brian Tathy. <laughs> Tease. It's all right. <laughs> T-A-I-T-H-E. Tathy. 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 No, no. Tathy. It's because he's got the teeth. Uh, a human woman. And she loves a little more than when a rou- adventurers, you know, tell rousing tales of their daring exploits. Um, and, you know, keep the drinks coming. Make those sales happen, you know. So a business and a temple. Yes. Kind of interesting. So I noticed in your background that instead of going for one of the player's handbook, um, you know, that suits, you took. The Barton. Yeah, Barkeep. It makes perfect sense now. I take back all those screaming emails going, hey, dude, we're supposed to be, you know, showing the. (laughs) Yeah, showing showing what it is. I'm showing exactly what it is. (laughs) Yeah. Um. So, when you're not bartending, you're praying to your God. And that, is that like a lot of altar drinking, like <laughs> serving customers, right? Yeah. Well, it's, yeah, because he is the, you know, God of drinking, happiness, festivities, good times, good times, right? It's all, especially if somebody does a good deed mm-hmm. in town, then it's cause for celebration. Hmm. Even if the good deed is like helping somebody cross the road properly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, a certain halfling cleric of Desma had arrived and had made the rounds and gone to wizards, you know, had gone to Caden's keg or in Canada, we just call it the keg <laughs> uh, <laughs> restaurant, bar, grill and tavern. Um, <laughs> And, uh, you know, got to know people and um, wasn't shy about, like, wasn't pushy about her faith, but wasn't shy about, like, you know, stepping into your guy's domain and, you know, buying a drink in honor of the people that serve, you know, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you know, scoped everybody out in the friendly, you know, non-obtrusive, soft sell halfling kind of way. Um, and one by one, you know, adventurers come and go, but she was sort of like the first that was literally a new face in town 
to, you know, grace the town and go, I am definitely a newcomer. I'm here for, you know, call of heroes. I've come from afar, you know, and that kind of kicks off. Like you ever have like a festivity week or a festive, like a fair weekend, you know, it's tradition here at the Cadence Keg that the first adventurer to wander in, you know, starts the party. Uh, it could be as late as the day of the call of heroes, but usually the night before a lot of them go to the wizard's grace. But before that, they come here. So we have like a, usually a day or two day lead. Anyway, sure enough, she comes in and not even knowing her actions set off a round of, you know, it's party time down here at the keg. And they celebrate, you know, the annual festive slash, you know, get adventurers on their way. Now, getting back to town lore. Um, can I have a lore check from you, sir? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I can. I, uh, you know, my lore is based on alcohol, so I can just okay. Give you, okay. I can. I can just give you a rolling. Ne never. Uh, never hurts. Nope. I will get a. Oh, I forgot to add my modifier. If I have one. Uh, no, I don't. Uh, Twelve. Twelve. All right. So the scene descends upon the, the new world. After the events of the adventure path of Tyrant's Grasp, a new world dawns two years after the war for the crown adventure path. The year is 4719. And the scene tumbles, tumbles, tumbles through the skies of Galorian down over the country of Iskar towards the capital, but then shifts a little bit south and towards the mountains near the tip of the five king mountains the dwarven kingdom itself and down upon the center of a little town called breached hill with a very unique very very unique backstory piercing the roof of cadence keg a slightly tipsy local young priest acolyte who has finished his shift as bartender and now must sort of do around in Caden's honor about educating those who come in and go and even talking to locals like you're practicing they know the lore and they're like nodding as if you're rehearsing or reciting you know that type of thing about the town's founder about the town's humble origins about an entire valley full of people that had amnesia were found by a generous wizard what what yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I remember all that? No, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Take it away. <laughs> yeah. uh, as soon as I remember what the actual wizard's name was. <laughs> oh, I, I, you don't have to. You have to. You don't have to go right to the name, but you know. Uh, well, it, it will come to me. Give all me right. Time. So and you know and anyway so there's there's one of your you know there's one of your locals right you know like old man Jenkins is sitting there going you're doing you know pretty good you know I only had to nudge you four times, you know, uh, and and the wizard's name is, and you're racking your brain for the lore or in this case Joe's like combing Wikipedia and <laughs> <laughs> the player's guide. Go go go. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, because uh, this is bad, because I just read it not sadly enough, I can't remember. Oh, I, uh, Bob, Meh, I can't remember right <laughs> <laughs> Close, close, <laughs> yeah, oh, you almost got it, you know, well, I'm not going to tell you, it's part, you know, it's part of your training here to, uh, you know, anyway, um, every time you forget a lore, you know, you got to drink. Oh. And, and and if you you know if you get to the bottom of a glass first, you have to buy the next round, and then the other guy happily you know has his and that kind of thing, right? Um, now, luckily, um, you know you get the drinks here at a discount. Yes, semi free. Um, yeah, <laughs> and or like I said, I believe there might be a certain way that a certain power of a certain young cleric can cheat. You were telling me. Uh, yes, uh, since I am a worshipper of Caden, I have the ability when I create water, I can create cheap wine or cheap ale instead of water. Which Go I on. Kind of, which, which I thought was kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll never, never, never run well, out I'll, of. I will have a. I can always have a drink a day because it is a, a higher level spell. 
It is not a cantrip. It is a first level spell. <laughs> so. Oh, oh, I thought it was a yeah. cantrip. Like you were just walking around, you know. Yeah, yeah that'd be bad. <laughs> <laughs> so a drink and a pinch. Yep, 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 once a day. Like like if you ever decided to make your own Molotov cocktail and, and try to nuke a bunch of large spiders in the Dwarven tradition, then, you know, you're, you're set. You got that one spell. Uh, kind of, but it's it's wine or ale, and that's not really flammable. <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> <laughs> either so it oh, okay good. okay well um that's still i can get a monster drunk Man, <laughs> <laughs> sit right down and we'll tell you the tale of my my deity and all this free ale something like that all right um so you're going through the motions and you know they they decide that you know okay you know it, it, you've tortured enough you know type of facilities and then in walks you know this halfling and we get her story and this is this and that is the and you know next thing you know everyone's having the good time like the serious good time and the drinks flow and the coins go out and the, the day turns on now she politely stays has some drinks gets talking to everybody and it's like wow it's a real party town and you know heads along her way um you know, she's saving all the coyote bar dancing for, you know, earlier episodes or as it is in our time clock, you know, tomorrow and tomorrow, tomorrow. Um, do you have any kind of immunities to alcohol? Do you have any kind of, you know, or do you just drink responsibly where like this is a festival? This is a tradition. I have a bed. I'm not driving an ox today, you know, that you can uh. you can just lay back because um, not to steal the Wizard's Grace's thunder or the town's tradition, but. You know the Friday night hell night before the Halloween. You know the the, the party at the keg every year. You know sometimes gets a little willy wily and out of hand, and and it's a great way to keep adventurers who are bored and waiting for the rest of their friends' parties or to party up with new faces busy, entertained, and the coin flows early. Sure. So, so any resistances? No, no resistances. But uh, I do remember a name. Okay. The wizard. Okay. Well, this is six hours later, and you're 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 completely <laughs> tanked. You're, you're completely tanked. Let's have it. <laughs> it is uh, Lamond Beatron. I Lamond. 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 Oh, Lamond. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Are you sure his name's not Lamond? <laughs> let's come on. We better let's go walk downtown to the statue. It's only a couple blocks away. Come on, come on, let's go. <laughs> come on, you come, come on. And, this, you know, like Jenkins just freaking drags your butt out of the bar, and you guys are two drunks walking down the road. Do, 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 you know. Stop on the bridge to say hi to Ralph. <laughs> you know. Oh, oh. Oh, that's much better. I, I'm so sorry. You know, and you guys head on down, and um, you head to closer to the town square and loop around, and there's Monument Circle. Yes. No, we could have just taken the shortcut, but that's no fun. No. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, here stands the 15-foot bronze statue of the wizard Lamond. Eh, you're right. You're right. Oh, well. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> well. Look at, jeez. Emode's arse. Look at that. I, I could have sworn it was Lamond, you know, like Lamond's. He was a wizard, you know, Le Mans, secret door, Le Mans, guardian dog, Le Mans, trap, Le Mans, you know, Le Mans, you know, well, maybe you're too young to remember Le Mans, you know, he's a friend of Bigby and Otelix and a bunch of those guys. I'm sure he was one of those eight dudes, but uh, you're right. I guess I'm going to buy the next. And okay. the dude just passes out here, <laughs> <laughs> cuddling the statue. Anyway, um, you know. It's um, it's not uh, it's not bad. Okay. Um, it's not it's not a bad place to sit. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know I, how 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 bad could it be if we're um, if we're just having a little sit down? You know, I mean, what's what's the worst that can happen? Yep, that's um, right. I'll you know, uh, pull them up to the maybe the the ds or the a step kind of so he's sitting upright he was ill <laughs> yeah you cuddle up beside him and start singing away 
right. Yeah. Do you, do you have like a, a praise to Caden song? Ah, uh, yeah. I just I can't remember what it is right now. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. My wife like spent three days on 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 like writing a prayer for Desna. You can you can impromptu a drinking song <laughs> yeah. for a guy, like. Come on, man. We all drink. King, it is the best. Let's drink some more. Drink, drink, drink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to have a seriously talk after this. Thing, <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing you're a damn good rules lawyer, buddy. <laughs> I was, I'm going to remove a hero point from, from Gibson this evening, ladies and gentlemen. You're starting tonight with, like, Zippo. <laughs> Ooh, does that mean I, that, that means this is the next session, right? I got That means I got to <laughs> oh, yeah, end it. I do, maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe, yeah. Maybe. And, the guide, woo, woo, woo. and the guide powers are reinvoked. <laughs> <laughs> and so, the, anyway, we are um, not having much luck um, with 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 the video feed. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Uh, I, I'm sure you, everyone wants to look at more than just. Um, than just our logo, you know. Use your imagination, ladies and gentlemen. But you know what? What's about to happen ain't pretty. Uh, I'm just, I'm just gonna say, um, we'll just have to work on, work on it in house. <laughs> um, so passing out, you know, a bender. You know, for for day they sweep you up and you, they drag you home, and you miss the call of heroes. The next day, you feel like crap. You, you know, you, you or you go to work and you're just kind of going through the motions, you know. And uh, by the time you get to council, it's just you know, oh, forget it. You know, I'll I'll leave a day. You know, they'll they'll come. They'll, someone will wake you. Everybody needs a cleric. You know, that kind of thing. And when you finally come to and to find the town hall, you know, like screaming, people are like fire, fire, you know, kind of thing. And somebody busted into the the tavern. You're sleeping up in the attic. You know, fr free rent for the for the alcoholic acolytes. You know form a bucket brigade you know and and you go rushing to help the town it's like wow you know and they um they uh sort of nominate these dwarves and they're like a tight little unit with that affling cleric and you're kind of like oh uh <clears throat> and I'm leaving the dawn you're like, uh, yeah uh you need to get your stuff together but you know you know where they went you know who they are and as soon as you get your head right and your gear and permission and the weekend off, you know, from your boss, you've headed into the wilderness alone. And here you are arriving, you know, in time to introduce yourself to some very friendly dwarf. Nope, not so friendly. <laughs> <laughs> so going back, you know, to that scene, um, like quite, quite literally <laughs> that scene where the brave dwarves were yeah, like, off like, baby spiders. Yeah. <laughs> Matt, Matt Witt is in the house tonight playing Elbrick Stonechucker. Ryan Messina is kind of in the house tonight playing Muros Anvil Bender. Gentlemen, Theon is just stunned trying to say hi to this guy. And Dolgren like slams, you know, the door in his face. What do you guys do? How rude. What would you do, boys? Myself? Yeah, yeah. Uh, right now, I'm more interested in attending to the, my wounded cousins. Um, no, really. With two players short, let's ignore the new guy. And, uh, <laughs> but but um, I'd probably turn because if, if you just said, fuck off and slams Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like... I, I probably think we were under attack from that direction, too, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Not more. Oh, that's awesome. Ulgrin, what are you on about over there, lad? Uh, we, we don't need. But anyway, he, Dolgren claims he knows this kid. I don't need no stinking drunk from no giddy god. You hear that, boy? And he kicks the door. Go home! Meh. And he just kind of walks away. Theon, on the other hand, just kind of gives um, Dolgren a look and walks up and says, Well, lads, I think we should put it to a vote. You know, all in favor of having disposable human clerics 
say, and he just whips open the door again <laughs> to reveal what are you doing there, uh, Niles? I'm uh, just, just listening on the other side of the door. <laughs> They're dwarves. <laughs> it's not our. <laughs> I lad, seems like an awful shame to be sending off a cleric in a moment of need. Come on in, come on in, have a look at our cousin. He's very wounded. I, I will go look at this wounded hairy dwarf. The w- <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, the, the man with the ch- the river of chest hair. <laughs> and then as he's going over and looking at the wounded, like we're all a bit beat up, I think, mm-hmm. at this point. Um, but as he's focusing his attention on uh, Muros, I'm going to pull Dahlgren aside into that little porticullis that he just came in from, that little room, the round one with the three doors. Okay. And I'm going to whisper to him in Dwarven. <laughs> Listen, there, there be no reason to be acting so paranoid. We do not got to share our secrets, but You'll draw attention to us if you go around acting like that. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I suppose you're right. Anyway, he he just kind of bah. It's on you, then that boy. You know, I mean, I could I could, I could still hear the on the wind and, and the mountain tavern that just kind of comes with him. Oh, that's better cleared right up. Um. <clears throat> It's on you if the boy, you know, can't hold his own or, or gets us in a, a world of hurt and trouble. Don't say I didn't warn you, but it's your party, so I'll go along with you. So Dahlgren isn't happy, but, you know, he concedes the vote, as it were. Aye, aye. And I'll make sure there's no talk of what we found out about earlier. Then I'll go back in. So, you're a cleric, you say? Yes. Cleric of Caden Callan. Caden? Well, that's a god I can certainly respect. God of drink. <laughs> and good times. And good times. <laughs> and I'll, I'll pull open my cloak and reveal the scabbard of my dagger with the family crest which was a stone mug <laughs> it has a slurms oh. mckenzie on it you know the... <laughs> no sorry my family be of kindred spirits to your god oh. the name's albrecht albrecht stone chugger hmm. and i reach out my hand i'll extend mine and shake the little dwarf okay niles niles albrecht <clears throat> <laughs> oh, your name's my name too. <laughs> I can see us getting along famously. You can call me Al. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, I am not cueing cueing the Paul Simon music. Sorry, Matt. No matter how many times, <laughs> no matter <laughs> how many times. <laughs> Sorry, it's just it's not going to happen, buddy. Um, so, um. A Muros that is sort of, you know, the worst for wear, some adrenaline rush to kill some spiders and goes back to kind of sitting down into like low tide mode. Um, Theon says, what say you, cousin? Muros. Oi. Cool. <laughs> he took a big hit to the head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Squinting at the human. <laughs> The fuck you want? You yell at me like you want more opinion. And then you'll go talking about, Hey, Miros, what you want this? Hey, Miros, what you want that? Hey, Miros, you're invisible. Turn on your camera. I don't fucking want to see me at this point. <laughs> <laughs> He's a mess. He's got battle damage. The hair isn't parted right. All right, buddy. We'll, uh, we'll go. No, no, that. no. Come lean close to there. Miros will make it so you clay see me clean and fine this day. He's leaning with an arm's reach chair. Don't worry, I'll put the glasses on myself. And okay. Rick, remember that day in the way in the past when you wanted to like, I can't see you, Muros. Where are you hiding? And then you lean close, and then you found out where I was hiding. 
Is that the Dwarven Stealth? <laughs> We're still working that angle. <laughs> Just because you shut your camera off, Messina, doesn't you, mean, doesn't mean Dwarven like, Stealth suddenly works. <laughs> if you act like the bloody Belen, I'm just saying we're going to get treated like a Belen. All right. So Come on, lean a close here. Who wants to find Muros? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, come on. Everyone, please leave him close to your <laughs> your social media devices or television, <laughs> or you just won't stop. We'll be doing an hour on this. Okay. Hang on. Let me just check with the chat here. You know, um, here I will <clears throat> lean in, everyone. Please, for God's <laughs> for God's sake. There you go. Um, hey, hey, go cool, fine. Make yourself a coin of fucking tension roll. Hey, the, the gods have spoken. <laughs> if, if I can't yeah, even get the chat. zero. You <laughs> fail. <laughs> oh, there he is. There he is. All right. So, um, guys, Dahlgren is on hand, you know, watching, listening, covering the door, you know, covering our six kind of thing. Uh, but is not, it's kind of staying away in Haram Fate Niles. Um, Theon will, you know, keep tending to Miros like Al or whatever. Mm -hmm. So that, that leaves a, you know, semi-revived Miros and Elbrick to deal with the newcomer. Is it, is it, it would be irresponsible for me to say that? I want a fucking nap. <laughs> uh, are we talking about our current loss of hit points, guys? Let's uh, yes. No. No. Yes, we are talking about that. <laughs> no. We're I'm definitely, talking about... we're going to take some time and we're going to take this room that we have. Um... I got five beds made out of metal. I want to throw them against the, the fucking doors here that we haven't opened yet there. And I want to take a wee fucking nap until I know that I'm not going to get it smothered here by a flame or a oh, fucking it's... swarm of bugs. Who the fuck opened that one over there? Adelbrick? I'm looking in your direction. Miros is a family show. <laughs> Fook is funny, but try to tone it down there, buddy. Um, so Yeah, that's what, that's what we're talking about here. That's what we're <laughs> only talking about Berlin's and Pookins. I'm being polite here. I'm trying to meet you halfway here in this boat. <laughs> so, um... Miros is demanding a nap angrily. They, he, you know, they, he gets tired. Maybe it's time for his nap. He's a little rangy. And where's my bloody <laughs> belly? Where's my belly rub? Has the fire gone out that we started, or is it still burning? Maybe you should oh, put that out. Yeah, that that one's actually kind of on me there. Mm. I did kind of toss her a flask of some of the 110 proof. And that yeah, we're, we're back like an accelerant. We're back into. Um, exploration mode as it were it, it mm. simmers down it's okay. stone it's stone walls you know you might like you know a little bit of a doorway here going up on the south but i'll fetch uh muros's flask i you can put a little something something in that there that might just help to calm the spirits down okay that's that's tarnished hot metal and and, <laughs> and dented <laughs> yeah, dented yeah yeah that wall is dented might require some healing i understand everybody I, wall, I, right? I could use some myself, but my cousin Muros there took the vast majority of it. What are you talking about? I'm fine. I'm fine as a took. Shut just got your mouth, Muros. I thought you said you were going to take a nap. Let the man do his work. <laughs> I was going to take a nap, but then he started on yammer and I kept talking. And then I had nothing better to do but to listen on your yam and on your jaw. Well, just chuck the flask down at him. Ay, 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 be careful. That's a heirloom. You're tossing around. It's empty, by the way, <laughs> just so we all know. It's an empty heirloom. <laughs> all right. So uh, if you guys kind of make it obvious that you're going to stay and hunker down in this room. Yep, we're going to do that for all sure. Right. All right. Uh, Dahlgren states he's going to, you know, do a promo check. No, he's gonna do a he's gonna do a primer check. He's gonna you know he's gonna have a look about. I'll get uh, Theo in, and we'll take the time, and we'll Jimmy open the door to the outside. Oh yeah, that one there, that one did. <laughs> yeah. I thought and you guys were I'll... trying to barricade yourself in for a nap. Not well, we are, but we're gonna. But that this one's is gonna a... be this is gonna be base of operations point one. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. So you, the door is accessible if you need to flee or right. Yeah. Okay. Please. So we'll set up, and then I'll, and then once the doors open, I'll go out and I'll do some foraging and scrounge up some food, <laughs> some berries. Okay. All right. So that leaves Miros and what Niles? Uh, did you want to uh, uh, the the most wounded dwarf? Um, can I have another open lore check? From Miros? No, oh. from uh, from Niles. Four. Okay. 
<laughs> um, not really um, equating nature and like, you know, a cornered, wounded animal is really vicious. You know, he his his surly attitude is probably just a cry for help. You know, bad man needs uh, healing. Because I'm fucking pissed off. <laughs> But well, no, 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 it's okay. What what are vague that there are some so. some pledge to dogma that makes it easier for you to hear my curses to your ears? Lad, lad, do yourself a favor. Ask him what his dogma is. You're going to love this. <laughs> I heard you whispering and making little tummy sticks in the corner there, but I have no idea what the bloody hell you two are talking about there. Wait, are you saying that this block of a human we got something in common that I'm actually going to be entertained slightly by the fact you... Wait a minute. Albert. Oh, smart lad. Okay. Hey! Ullman! Hi, dwarf. Hey! <laughs> who, are you, who are you sending their prayers there to? Caden Callan. Caden? Yes. Caden! The on Caden. Yeah, the only Caden. Caden the drunkard. That's right. That's him. The 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 best one. And hey, tell <laughs> me what, what's your what's your opinion of him? He is a god. Not he I. A, he is a human who turned into a god. And what do you like about him the best? His rejoice of life. Oh, that's, that's why we celebrate everything by drink. Tell you a quick story about how one night we were exposed to game and we're wondering where Ryan is, and a couple of uh, pilgrims, you know, nice suit and tie, young man, early twenties, suitcase, you know, suitcase and a book. Have you heard the good word? Corner him on his porch, and he just lays into them. I we were so worried about Ryan. I got into my car and drove a couple blocks looking for him, and he's cornered these guys, asking them the same kind of religious <laughs> questions, waving at me, and I just. When I went on, I went on a coffee run or something to break up the time. He's he's up there, you know. So, um, <clears throat> young hey, acolyte hey. of Caden, beware. I'm just saying, dude, dude. If you think Jenkins, you know, giving you shit and a drink for the lawyer check of twelve, you know, you you, you don't want to open the can of Miros that is Messina, you know, yeah. get get a problem with about religion, man. Just saying. So, if I'm not understanding you correct, there, you're telling me that your state of being has something to do with embidden the nectar of our gods and it takes you to a holier state takes you to a holier state and heals i like revitalize this yes. albert where the, where the fuck was this guy back in the time when we needed him oi you remember that awesome looking pub we passed caden's keg yeah you're like we're gonna have to make sure we go in there and get shit faced I, did we not get shit faced? We always do, lad. Just not there. Anyways, we would have met him. But that wee halfling lass took us in at her temple instead. Oh, back where they were like kneeling and praying and kneeling and praying and praying and kneeling. Aye, she was a sweet lass, but could you imagine the fun we could have gotten to if we'd gone into Caden's keg first? To be honest, I thought that was a pretty decorous to like actually getting shy faced, but I never got shy faced. To be honest hey, with you, hey, 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 lads, says Theo, and we we promised that any new town or city we go to and taking all the attractions, we'd save the bat the best for last. You don't want to blow your wad on the very first awesome experience the first day because it makes the rest of the town look like shit. <laughs> you know as well as I do, Muros just wants to blow his wad in the first chance he gets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, that's why Elba has to look after me. We all know this. Anyways, anyway, simmer down, simmer down. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Niles. It's a pleasure. So, let's heal up some people. Sure. <laughs> uh, are we going to go for the um, <clears throat> the questionable overpowered medicine check that uh has got people a buzz you know no i'm just that's got them coming back the overpowered healing oh that is by the power of alcohol i compel it. you yes. <laughs> for a small donation to my church oh uh, a tankard a you pint <laughs> I, I was gonna say you, you sure you don't worship at a bar you know like pay, <laughs> pay now heal later <laughs> It's right. always appreciated, but yes, uh, the uh, the healing since 
uh, we all thought it was kind of weird where mm. medicine seemed overpowering magical healing. Magical healing is actually not broken, but can become very useful. You know, we shouldn't say overpowered and broken because we oh, have sorry. a lot of game mechanic. To, no, my fault, my fault yeah. to explore. I mean, they've balanced these rules. And if we have a hype up healing system that keeps the action coming so that maybe you can take more hits, you know, um, more dramatic uh, things happening, more damage. Um, speaking of upping the excitement, I happen to have gotten my hands on a little mail package today. Oh. Pathfinder's official second edition critical hit deck, gentlemen. Um, and uh, I'd like to read you. Uh, I'd like to read you the rules. Hey, to be to be a hundred percent honest, when he said he received himself a mail package, I thought he received a little Filipino boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Messina, don't make me drive to your house. A a, gr a group. Um, a group can use the critical hit deck in their game to make combat more surprising and dangerous. Whenever a PC scores a critical hit due to a natural 20, not just okay. a crit boys, a yep. natural 20 quick crit on the die roll, that player can draw one card from the deck or as obviously I'll like draw it and hold it up and we can read it and ooh and ah. Um, apply the effect that attacks appropriate type, bludgeoning, piercing, slashing in case of weapons and unarmed attack or bomb or spell for either a bomb or spell roll. Since these effects can be deadly against player characters themselves, the GM draws for a monster, NPC, or hazard only if the creature or hazard's level is equal to or greater than the target's level. But gentlemen, that's a little bit more often than uh, a named NPC. <clears throat> now, you're lucky everyone's not here tonight because I would immediately call for a vote on the <clears throat> deadly variant rule down at the bottom here. For a deadlier and more chaotic game, the GM can allow players to draw on any critical hit, not just one due to a natural 20, and draw any critical hit scored by an enemy, regardless of the NPC level. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a quick game. I hear uh, that evil laugh. Yeah, I'm going to vote no <laughs> yeah. for that one right away. Okay, I would like to second this no. Okay. Joe? Can I second a no? Yeah, sure. Yes. Got two no's. <laughs> <laughs> he said yes okay that's two we'll have we'll have to get back to rob and uh, frank for the split vote you know here because uh, no uh um all in favor of the deadly variant rule i really yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay that's one yes and two uh resounding no's um <clears throat> we'll we'll have to find out next week but right now we'll try the regular you know the regular boys i'm very excited <laughs> yeah gamma knight says we should draw no matter what for regular hits too that yeah. would be exciting that would be very exciting oh <laughs> uh, yeah uh yeah shout out to our man coop gamma knight uh who always makes the time and takes the time to hang out in our twitch chat feeds even if we are uh you know gaming with a neighbor like the awesome place, which is Dark Galaxies Gaming, where we hope to find you right now, or hanging out in our own chat later tonight at 1030. You'll catch us playing Star Wars. We shot first Saga Edition Dawn of Defiance campaign. But for right yes. now, <clears throat> gentlemen, I don't want to hear any itching, bitching, or whinging. I shall shuffle the deck. I did when I got it, but you don't see lots of shuffling. Oh, the cards are dropping. Anyway. Steel. Professional <clears throat> dealer here. In midair. There's no table. Come on, man. Give me a, yeah. <laughs> give me a break. Anyway, Tight. gentlemen, the place, Niles, does have a bit of an eerie vibe. I mean, it's common knowledge that this was, well, not common knowledge, but being a local, it's common knowledge that Hell Night Hill, you know, this Heck Citadel. Night Hill. Yeah, really. Sorry. <clears throat> Family show, right? Yeah. Uh, here on Heck Night Hill. Heck Night Hill. <laughs> the, <laughs> the, oh, uh, now, now I want to be a Heck Knight. <laughs> but that's not fair, man. <laughs> well, your next character could be a wannabe Heck Knight, or, you know, uh, they got to go through a lot, not just to get to be a yeah, Heck they Knight. Go through, but they got to go through Heck. They, these guys, <laughs> they, uh, like on a yearly basis, you, you, don't have, you have no idea the, the can of whoop ass it is to be a, a Heck Knight. Yeah. So, anyway, um, back to Niles. What have you got for us in the way of actual magical healing? Oh, yes, ma feeling? for magical healing, mm. it now falls under 
like majority of things in lovely Pathfinder 2nd Edition, mm -hmm. it falls down into actions. So a healing spell has one, two, or three actions. Okay. First action, it's touch spell. It deals eight, 1d8 hit points of damage. Okay. okay. Yeah, not too bad. Hit points of healing damage. Healing damage, sorry. What <laughs> 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 kind of twisted, <laughs> drinking, yeah. sadistic god do you worship, you know? Uh, no, uh, you are oh, healed oh, in the oh, name oh, of Cain. <laughs> crushed. Wait, wait, are you drunk? Because if you're not drunk, you no, get I, dealt damage. Yeah. Uh, the two actions is a uh, range up to 30 feet. Ooh. Instead of touch. Yes. Whoa, 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 you don't need the rain touch spell feet like uh, no. like our halfling cleric took the don't don't tell her because I <laughs> I really push that feet. <laughs> yeah, well, because it makes sense uh, because you're able to cast all your spells that way, right? But for healing, you can just do it with two actions. You can make it a reach spell. Which... So a strictly verbal prayer gets you a d8 to the guy next to you. Yeah, and with the second action, it increases it to eight instead of a d8 also max oh wow reach and max at at, at, at the cost of two, one more or an uh, additional two, uh, one two two more actions. action two actions and at three actions you disperse positive energy in a 30 foot cone or ammunition sorry all the targets living or undead either receive the max damage or take the max damage no automatically oh, do you have to specify like the old days or is it just like good guys go yay bad guys go boo so it's just like okay guys jump right into the fray with all those skeletons and, and the priest will do what the priest does best yeah this target this targets gonna, all gonna, living gonna, gonna, and undead creatures in the burst wow yes that's i i know i stated overpowered is because comparably to other systems now that being said, it's a D8. Yes, but if you take extra feats like I did, I now do D10. So now I can Ooh. heal 10 every time I do it. Well, that's fancy. Yeah, very and, fancy. And you also get more ch more chances to cast it because now it's based off your charisma bonus. Oh, yes, for healing you get extra depending on the the doctrine you take either healing or harm so yeah so i'm going to cast it Which sorry is... extra what healing or harm <clears throat> healing or harm it's uh based off your doctrine so you can it's based off your charisma so you get one plus your charisma bonus charisma modifier and that's how many extra spells you get per day extra healing or harming depending on if you're good or bad hmm cool yes so if everybody's in 30 foot, all right, do my three actions. Uh, Albert which... ran off. <laughs> He's like, why went outside? I, I just went to go get food. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right. I'll stick around for the heals. Yeah, because I I, I, I can burn it, so there's 10. Okay. Everybody uh, receives well, 10. Dahlgren is in a mood. He's not here, but then again, he didn't take any damage last combat, so he's fine. Yeah. And he's got a self-heal going, so yeah. So okay. one casting, everybody heals 10. Just like that. Just like Wait. that, because it's three actions. And since we're in exploration mode. <laughs> yeah, I'll just, just pop everybody back to to Uber quick. Yeah. All right. That's sweet. And if anybody needs more, I can do it again. So with a, a quick explanation, like the actual action took less than the explanation. So it's, it's a first like, level spell. Yeah, gather around, poof, you're all good. You guys feel great. The man proves his usefulness on the spot. Now, we still might want Miros to take his nap in the afternoon so he doesn't stay cranky. That's up to you guys. But what I'm saying is like, yeah. you guys are good to go. <laughs> no, I'll take some time to forge um, yeah. and uh, prepare some food. All right. Uh, Miros, you want, to, sorry, you want to get back in the game here, Miros? I never left it. I don't see in, uh, I don't have you in Fancy Grounds. Um, well, I never left it. <laughs> it's, like yeah, so, it's like arguing with a five-year-old as well okay so <laughs> what do you want so to do here I, Al? Nap. I don't want to go for a nap i will <laughs> i will tap my last keg and oh. as i'm doing so i will look at muros and theowen and say easy on this one lads it's the last one i got and then i'll prepare some food in front of the fire Okay. Make a place to rest. 
Do you guys actually have like tankards or cups or anything in your gear? I do. He's <laughs> <laughs> got one on a chain on his belt, like his wallet, right? The great big wooden tankard just kind of flaps around like ammo. Here you go. Well, I have my water skin, and then I also have my wine skin. So okay. No. I would ask you, when is the last time you tracked an archer with zero? Oh, and I'll pull that flask out that I found that we couldn't figure out what it was, and I'll Ooh. pass it over. Do you know what this is, by the way? Oh. Ooh. Ah. Hmm. Sure. No knowledge it. religion, please. Oh, okay. I can do that. It still says you're running a different host there, uh, Prendos. That's weird. Uh, crew Ogre, right? No, I know, but uh, we're running 338. You're running 337. You need to update, yeah. dude. Uh, are we running fantasy? Yeah. Um, it tells me you're connected, but it's, it's just saying that you're running different hosts. I don't know if that's going to cause problems for you, but just so you know. Um, oh. But there he is. Ah, he's back. I'm getting a script there when I try to click on the little dragon to roll my dice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> really? You guys had all week to update this shit? <laughs> oh, oh, hey. Updated. Mine's updated. <laughs> Um. All right. So I'll, I'll just do it the old-fashioned way then. Well, I can say I, I've got your sheet here. If you want to come yeah. right off the off the character sheet, I'll just I can add my modifiers. It's pretty simple. Okay. So I I would like to know just to make sure that there isn't something that's you know that I've done. <clears throat> so no, okay. don't you know don't look everyone. I'm just gonna drop this in the old dice tower here and just see. Okay. Uh no, religion blah blah awesome yeah okay yeah, plus seven yeah yeah. So what'd you get? 14? Uh, 14 total. Okay. So let's talk about identifying magical items. Oh, hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> so you look up the rules. Hang, on, it, hang, hang, hang on, hang on, guys. I, I, I got something for you. So um, Paizo has um, got us in the wonderful world of and just show the world the actual 20. website. No, they, they've got a they've got a um, SRD. Remember how we used to haunt the Pathfinder SRD? There you go. There's a Pathfinder two, second edition Ooh, SRD. That's you know, much, much faster than you know, flippity flip through the rules. Um. So yeah, I mean, we got equipment, characters. You know, playing the game here. This is a this is a lovely layout. I don't know if I can. You know, oh what the hell. You know, let's let's look at this lovely. Look at look how look how nice this is, right? Look at the resources, bestiary on the left here. You know, this this looks good. Talking about the flow of the game, it has that red bar with the gold lettering inside of it, with the red background, that maroon background. So you know, it gives you the the color scheme of second edition that they went with. So you know, like, oh, I'm in the right place because you know, subconsciously, subliminally, I see uh, you know wording and stuff that's uh, looks like second ed. I see dead people. I see dead people. <laughs> I see dead monsters. Yeah. Uh, Ryan, you're kind of quiet. I need you to come in a bit and go up a bit. Um, I see dead monsters. So, IDing items. Oh, I'm also going to take the body of the bugbear out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was my... No, no, wait, wait, wait. That was my snuggie. <laughs> that was my snuggie. It's like a body pillow form. That's nasty, man. <laughs> it was warm still. <laughs> what? <laughs> This isn't your fight, Jeff. Don't dig. <laughs> yeah, no, that that's going outside. <laughs> I I might even take enough time to to bury it in a shallow grave, just so as not to attract predators with the rotting of yep. flesh. Mm -hmm. Right, feed them early. They'll, they'll be full up before they get to the door and and, and chew on you. And I'll actually <laughs> even call. I'll actually even call our uh, our new resident cleric over to perform rites because that's his job. <laughs> Why? Yes, it is. Thank you. <laughs> what is the basic rights for sending a body off? He's fishing for more role playing. Joe, just go with it. Oh, so sorry. Uh, for cadence. Yeah. Yes. Uh first <laughs> we fill a mug. I like this guy already. <laughs> and as we as we state the last rights, which is pretty much. Allowing the soul to pass on to the greater powers, we drink in their memory if they're a friend. If they're a foe, we drink because of their courage for being a foe. 
<laughs> no, those, this is good. Go on. I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad he's not doing the gangster pour one out. You know, I, you know, he's, he's trying to do it. No, he's trying to be original, guys. You know, I'm just glad he like the last. How do you was... piss off three dwarfs at a funeral? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's only someone bleeding from the nose. I oh, know that much. W- waste alcohol on a foe, really. Um, no, I'm just glad he went with. Didn't go with like the first prayer was drink, 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 and he, and he didn't go. I don't know, dig, dig, dig. You know, we dig, dig, <laughs> dig up the body. Uh, no, no, you're doing great, Joe. Keep going, keep going. Yep. And now I forgot what I was saying. Oh, uh, soul trench. Soul tr- <laughs> <laughs> We drink for the courage of our foe. Yep. No, that's good. That's good stuff. Yep. Yeah. So if the body is buried, yada yada. Thank you for the great courage, and we drink. Okay. But we don't just drink one. <laughs> oh, okay. You guys like sit around the grave like it's a campfire and just keep knocking them back. <laughs> Did, did anybody know her? <laughs> did anyone want to say anything nice? Like, wh- wh- where are we going with this here? <laughs> I've been meaning to tell you this for 15 years. I hated that fucking bitch. That for, f- for five minutes and he killed her. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, no, that's, and, that's, that's good. I'll take what I can And get. not like a female dog. I mean, bish. That's B I S S. Bish. <laughs> You just you just digging me all kinds of political holds there tonight, Messina. I'm telling you, man. So um, funeral's over. Thank you. Pack up. Back inside. Let's adventure uh, before yep. <laughs> before we make things worse and I get kicked off the internet. <laughs> <laughs> it's personal personal goals. <clears throat> um, yeah, yeah. No kidding. So, um, lads, all right. Shall we continue exploring? Hey, I feel a little limbered up at this moment. We only got about halfway through that room over there before the spiders came. Yeah, I know that. And you screamed like a little girl. I did do that. I did, yeah. <laughs> that's why your that's why your your ma sent me to come with you. Well, Theros pipes up. This is like, uh, hey, uh, let's uh, let's uh, let the new guy have a go. You know, you've been very helpful so far, but <laughs> how, let's put him on point. You know. Because, and he just kind of makes this sort of crawling hand, eh, spider, you know. We don't want him, we want to see if he's going to go all Aiden on us and like run away and not even want to talk about the battle after. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take up the back. <laughs> Dahlgren will find us later. So, you know, Theon's going to take rear guard, and that leaves three mighty heroes yeah. to uh, brave forward into the night. The eerie dungeon awaits. Hey, what's, what's Theon talking about going Aiden? It makes no sense to me. Uh, that's dwarven for arachnophobic. I. They both start I, with A. Yeah. Like like our cousin Aiden, who you know, hates yeah. spiders. You you cannot tolerate anything that's got more than four limbs. Is that like a Noposaurus by chance? Yeah. I I hundred percent like. <laughs> that's a cast member uh, insultus actually. But anyway. Uh... <laughs> no no I've heard this before here. <clears throat> it, it, it's intolerabilis. Hmm. So I cannot, I cannot take it. <laughs> and for the life of me, I cannot find identifying anywhere. Yeah, I, I'm looking too, and it's just like, doo, 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 you know, yada yada. Keep that so, funeral okay. going. Yep. <laughs> um, we'll figure well, it out later. I'm, I'm gonna say that because it is a healing potion, and that you are a cleric, I will give you a little bit of a bonus to crack that good old classic DC of 15 ish good. Oh, there it is. You know. I found it. I found it. I found it. Really? Yeah. Now, <laughs> now I just have to. Are you ma- how, how many? Okay, seriously, I can only take one guy messing with me a night. Okay, it's just my <laughs> tolerance level. It's just so um, low what's today. our map? We're looking at it here, Jeff. Just like get uh, our overland. Oh, thank you. Very I'll bricks out the door. You can pop that stuff up yourself if you go into the images and maps. You just have to I remember the name of the map. Yeah. Okay, are you ready for this, Jeff? Yes, please. Let's let's have it. Okay, to identify Will's magic, a you have to do your skill based on the magic tradition. I have the four types of magic. That right, we have. healing potion, religion is what I went with. Okay, so whatever the DC is, if I beat that DC, then I know what it is. The DC yeah. of what? An item has it a DC? Yep. The G, the GM determines whether or not you can do this and what the DC is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just it's just free form. Boom, it's up to you. <clears throat> well, there there was the old day of like the caster level, a first level guy can make a first level potion. Okay. So it's you know like 11 level, but here, here, I'll, I'll read the I'll read the, the it's a small little paragraph, but okay. 
that way we can appease everybody since we've had some issues with <laughs> some things in the past using ah. the skill related to the appropriate tradition as explained in magic traditions and skills of blah 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 blah. you can attempt to identify a magical item location or ongoing effect in many cases you can use a skill to attempt to identify the magic of a <clears throat> of a tradition other than your own at a higher dc the, D, the GM determines whether or not you can do this and what the DC is. So there's already a DC in here somewhere. And then if I'm trying to learn, if it's not for myself, if it's not divine based, or if it's like a cult based, then it's a higher DC, even though it could be a healing potion. Hmm. But that, that's based on the item description. Okay. <clears throat> so there we go. That that's it. So, all right. And if if you want to go by uh, the DC, the typical DC, like of a first level spell, is fifteen. Yeah, this was to say like you, there there is a symmetry of like easy five, regular ten, you know, somewhat difficult, but you know, hey, I remember fifteen hard is like twenty. Like you know, the base the base structure is not changed overly. Um, no. you know, with this, this kind of thing. So like I said, 14 cool. plus healing bonus 15. So yeah, you guys are looking, um, <clears throat> where are we here? Let's see, pull up the, um, the loot list, the potion loot list. Light? Uh, no, it's called a minor healing potion, minor healing potion. Yep. Uh, now we also have, uh, th um, Theoan had a bag and somebody had a flask. Did you guys want to offer those up for perusal and inspection as well? Sure. Why not? Okay. So some um, oh, some no engineering and nature would be a little bit higher, but engineering probably would be your best bit. More rolling from uh, Mr. Niles. Oh, and no. arcane, you know. <laughs> okay, they, just, they just start putting stuff. Oh, really? It's healing. Oh, you said it was poison. I never said it was poison. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What about this? What about that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, you know what? Uh, Dahlgren has that. Yes. And he's Why? not here. Oh, fair enough. So if he ever coughs it up, <laughs> if he ever coughs it up, because um, like I said, I'm, I'm only going to play one dude <laughs> a night, you know, or, or you know, maybe in um, <clears throat> here. Yeah. Here, rookie, drink this. It's initiation time, you know. <laughs> yeah. So I'm having uh, script issues. Okay. So I can just uh, give you a, a raw roll if you want. Sure. Or... Yeah, I got your character sheet up in here. Okay. I guess I'm gonna... well, we have a six for whatever you asked me to roll for. <laughs> <laughs> I was asking for like an engineering kind of, uh, which <clears throat> falls under lore, I guess. Yep, which like I do not have. So it's just my raw check. Can, can you not make raw lore rolls? That's what I just did. Yeah, <laughs> okay. So man, not so much. Okay, so how about nature? Uh, nature, nature, nature. Oh, nature. Hey, look at that. It's the same thing. Yeah, I don't. I don't think there are any skills you can. Uh, you are like restricted from attempting untrained. Uh, right. Seven. But they say like you know you can't be an expert on mithril armor. There is a a bunch of skill lore which falls under normal. Some that falls under trained. Some that falls under expert. Some that falls right. under. You know what I mean? And you, attempting those are fruitless. But you know. Um, no, because you can always roll a natural twenty. A yes. natural twenty. Yeah. <laughs> Did I know? I... Yeah, so. <laughs> getting worse. Okay, so not sure what the bag of tied up smelly stuff leather is. No. Um, and the flask, Arcana. Oh, Arcana. Your intelligence base. Yeah. At well. Nope. <laughs> nope. It's kind of uh, kind of scratching his head. Yeah. Not sure. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but that one is a potion. Appealing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. I'll, I'll be so kind uh, since Rob wasn't actually here to claim it and you guys like pawned it off with horrible rows, rolls on Dulgren that uh, we'll see if it comes up again like next game if you need it or you know Theo and you know just decided to take it back maybe put it on his weapon or whatever and then Al's like hey look, look at this let's make sure it's poison you know that kind of thing so we'll say that there's a potion pending for you gentlemen uh, seeing how bad we go here um, so with these crits going okay and with npcs being allowed to them that are your level 
I will, even though our sessions are only two hours as opposed to four, I will reinstate the hero point per session rule. Woohoo! Yay! Okay. More okay. deaths. Yep. Um, so you guys all have one, you know, one point at least. Now, Joey, we were talking about hero points carrying over from session to session. Yes. So they steadily build? Up to three. Right. Okay. So this is what we'll do is what you will get your, you know, you'll get your hero point. Um, and like I said, they'll recycle every other. Does that make sense? They'll, you is know. there a place to track those on your character sheet? Uh, I don't know. No. Not that I've seen anywhere. Hmm. Except maybe notes. Yeah, I guess notes would be where it probably has to go. Yeah. Um, so my idea is like if you have none, you know, a session will get you your one, but they they don't they won't stack unless it's like every other. You know right. what I mean? So like Al had none, he gets one back. Yay, early one session, only two hours, but it's a new session. Al gets his point. You know, um, the guys that didn't use one last session, no, you're not. I'm not going to give you two every two hours. You know that kind of thing. That that's going to get pretty you know pretty stacked. But every other you know, so we'll have to start tracking this. Um, as we go here, um, you know, I want to say HP, but that's not necessarily hero points. <laughs> yeah, that's why I put down hero points in the notes instead of yeah. Everyone's name now. The notes here, um, we have. A, I can just sort of like make a new note, and we'll make this public, um, and we'll just say you know, hero points because even the DM can just get into this right, and um. We'll, we'll use the player name. Okay, so Ryan's got one. Matt has one. Two. Uh, I didn't use mine last session. <laughs> well, you're the, you're the every other one. Remember, you were short one. I was going to say, you, yours won't recycle. Yeah, but you gave me one. <laughs> yeah, but you used one. You had zero. <laughs> I'll give you I one use now. one? Um, do you really, remember yours wasn't going to recycle to like every odd? No. No. No, uh, okay, well, I do we'll, believe the only character who's been using hero points is the man who's not speaking right now. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Messina. Um, no, 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 I know. I'm here, I, and I have been making active use. I know that um, Theo used a hero point. Yeah. Um, we'll, but I we'll, haven't used one. Well, in the week, we'll look back and, and we'll get it sorted. But for right now, you guys should all at least have one. At least. I have two. Because <laughs> you gave me are, that bonus are, one last session for being honest. Remember? Arguably, oh, because yes. I've been the only one fighting off death on the regular. Right. You definitely have none. That's not even right. a question. And, and, <laughs> and, 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 what, and what did, and what did I just what did I just tell you? Yeah. To get to two, it's going to be every other week. Because if you have zero, I'll give oh, you no, one every yeah, session. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha right? you on that. But I'm saying, I spend mine like you know i also eat reese's pizzas yeah that's okay um but al and, like i was saying like, if you if you're at zero you get your one if you have one then you got to wait two weeks a four hour session to for yeah. it to start stacking right yeah. otherwise also, like in a regular person's game it'd be like having six yeah I'm, I'm just saying anyone who doesn't use another regular like eating reese's pizzas it's not a friend of mine okay reese's pizzas better cups i'm like if you don't devour those things like air we have a problem. Okay. So what do you guys want to do now? Eat Reese's peanut butter cups. Yep. Explore. You're munching, you're, I, you're munching, the, I want to go move, into move, the room where guy. the spiders were. Yeah. <laughs> and this take, is my room. We'll take our time and actually explore it. I know we piled all those reagents on the table. Okay. Was that all we found? Period. Well, get your guys in there. I need, stack, 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 I need to stack, see the map. <laughs> what? I have white with a little tree shrubbery that's all i can see that's what happens when you stand close to the fire joe yeah that's all i can see on my map yeah oh, okay because you're scripting okay well i've got you at the door okay now, now he's in the room now he's running past elbrick oh look at him go it's <laughs> 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 for not upgrading your computer Left you straight bring up across that table yeah yeah miros you're coming in here and Theon's on our proverbial rear guard. Yeah, I'm okay. standing right beside Albrecht there. You know, I just want to make sure he doesn't like, eat something that he doesn't supposed to eat. I remember back in the day there, he had an entire mustard oh, plant. There we go. Now I see. It, it was embarrassing for the whole fam. I it was delicious. Hey, I I'd do it you, again. Yeah, threw up all over me, Mazlap, and me. 
Such a pretty shade of yellow. Okay. It was not Fond pretty. Fond memories shade. of those days, lad. Yeah. Fond memories. You hey. have made a bit worse impression of an out of a bloody rainbow. Except it only had one shade to it. Vomit. <laughs> so, I did we find any something. taking our time and really searching this room? Did we find anything else? Are, are you searching or are you just reminiscing? <laughs> I'm reminiscing. He's searching. A dust covered black wooden countertop runs along the walls of the southeastern end of this galley style room. It clearly was once a kitchen, but its cupboards and shelves were stripped of most tools and provisions long ago. We ransacked the place after well, a whole bunch of swarms of fat red spiders have taken up here two large swarms and we dealt with them in short order. Luckily, you did not place this room on fire full of moldy, broken, wet kind of cupboards, but I do believe Theon started collecting up some herbs and oils and odd things that he thought possibly alchemical, alchemical in nature or crafty. Blew a bunch, <laughs> yeah, blew a bunch of rolls and I failed common and he's just like, I just have stuff in my pockets. <laughs> and that's where we are now. <laughs> Sweet. Common's fun. Yep. So you got two doors, boys. Um, you got a door to the north and you have a door to the west. I, I see north. Or... <laughs> <laughs> he's just trying to get a word in edgewise i've been waiting eight, eight sessions you know we're on session nine, or no episode nine. please let us go no, I, I'm not, we... I can finally see the map now so oh good cool so to the north you see no mm -hmm. all right Miros, go ahead lad hey have a look watch hey. for spiders oh yeah well there's gonna be more spiders out of them is there more spiders out of them there i see so you burn mm. the fucker to the ground I mean, all of it. You got your regs, right? Soak them up. We leave them behind. <laughs> just run around with Molotov cocktails, ready to go, just in <laughs> case there's some spiders. Yeah. You laugh now. It makes sense <laughs> after the fact, though. There is Ro some logic to what he's saying. I cannot, I cannot argue that. Who's going in? I, I'm going in. I'm going. I got this. Rows of long, slender dining tables sit in skewered rows throughout this room. Broken chairs are scattered throughout the chamber, and the room entire air itself has a smell of disuse, disarray, in its setup, outlay, and just sensibility. It's not like it's I, been ransacked. Obviously, it has, but it's just, you know, like someone yelled fire, and all the chairs get, the tables got pushed back and half flipped, and everybody ran for it. No, it's okay. I, I run up to the first chair closest to me, mm -hmm. and I hoof out say, spiders, and I run back out of the room, and just like kind of dive behind Albert. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Theo and comes out from the last room and sticks his head in. Where? Where? And starts smacking the floor with his axe. What are spiders? I ain't no Aiden. Smack, 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 smack. Just comes in, chops the table in half. Ah! Oh. What's going After on? the chair that I hoof. After making you know, like collateral, like clunk, 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 yeah. clunk, clunk, clunk. I, I give it a couple of seconds and I kind of peer out from behind the outbreak. No, 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 no one's moving. Do we eat? Right then. So okay. I'll walk into the room. Mm -hmm. Myrtle's kind of holding onto his shoulders. And kinda, Very good, right? I'll take oh. a look around. Rows of rows Shindo. of long, 16. slender dining tables sit yeah, yeah. in a scared row. <laughs> Look at that. Mm -hmm. Anything, anything else catch my eye? With a... From from this distance, Frady one and Frady Cat two. No. Wait, wait. wait. Let me roll. You want to search the room? Give me a perimeter yeah. move with your minis. Yeah. Have a look uh, at it. Kilos. We yeah. find more doors. <gasps> two on the west wall. One on a sort of angled north. Um, East wall, strong suspicion where that might go. Perception of 20, not natural. There be no spiders here. A perception awesome. of 15. It's a grand day. <laughs> it's a great um, day. It's, it's, it's a bare use day. room with some odd furniture gentlemen, but no markings, no carvings, no tapestries, no creepy crawlies. Just. You know, what you're like, saying is there's alone? nothing of real interest in here. I'll never I, say that. Never. I, I'm I'm no. saying that 15 and 20, that's what you get. He's saying there's no creepy qualities here. So that, that you can see. That you're unaware insane. of. There's nothing of interest. I'll go up to the door. 
here in the middle on the north side and I'll give a listen. All right. Uh, perception of 11. Don't hear anything. Ole, 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 ole. I will ole. slowly ease it open. Ole. All right. I love how on cue the music just automatically gets to the dramatic part just for you, Matt. Sweet. <laughs> Thank you. Floor Ooh. to wall shelves here still hold a few rotted provisions and cooking utensils, though the room is disastrously filthy and has clearly been already ransacked. All right. I do not like the smell of this room, lads. There's some rotten stuff going down. Aye. Again, I'll take uh, some time and do a good thorough searching okay um there's the proverbial taking 20 in the um exploration mode is there not yep joe oh, question, question b sorry i was <laughs> question <laughs> what? La La land here <laughs> <laughs> taking 20 and uh off combat taking 20 in perception because it's an the actual like it, it's like, area. it's a chevron. I mean, it's an action just to make a perception check. So I'm wondering if they actually let you take to any, since it constantly burns. Well, I guess I suppose in um, encounter mode it's okay. But is it taking twenty? No. It's taking twenty. It's just a die roll. Okay. Yeah. No, so no there's no roll. taking time. Okay. Well then I will yeah. die roll. Now I'm gonna say though, if you do take your time as opposed to give you a quick glance, I will consider bonuses. You know what I mean? When you have time, you search thoroughly. Yeah. You know, even a shit roll could perception you know, of fifteen could be boosted. You know that kind of thing. Um, also, um, you remember you talked about taking time. Yep. Now, you, for those that might feel they're getting ripped off, going, "Hey, what the hell?" There's a lot of stuff written in second edition saying if the PCs take ten minutes searching here, if they take five minutes, if they take at least a minute. You know what I mean? As opposed to like one chevron, one action, perception twenty, nothing. Bye. Shh. Right, it's nothing to do with the dice roll. It's not taking twenty, but it is taking the time. Now, yep. Taking twenty in the old rules was like two minutes, right? Which is why I've been expressly thorough in my description of I'm right. going to actually take right. the time to thoroughly search the room. Right. So, um, just just to clarify, like there is reward for you know slowing down and slowing your roll and taking your five ten minutes an hour. You know, um, you guys have found. Um, shelf stable goods, dry rations, a couple of kitchen implements slip through the cracks between the shelves and the walls and, you know, moving things about and ruddling, rattling uh, drawers and stuff. Um, you guys can put together through odds and ends enough for traditional eight edible food rations. Sweet. Ooh. And a silver knife, Ooh. which you can use as a silver dagger. Ooh. Sweet. So who wants what on what dude? You guys want to split the food? Everyone gets two rations? Sure. Sure. Sounds good. So, so we'll we'll give um we'll give two to Frank and like I said, Dahlgren's out being huffy somewhere, so none for him. So two, four, six, eight. You guys each all get two rations. So I'm just gonna pull up Theo in here and go into his inventory and go to now because we have the core book loaded i should be able to type in rations right correct and actually find one ration which now it doesn't say it's an iron ration like i'm assuming it's just automatically um um sustainable what's the word i'm looking for um shelf good like you know not not perishable you know yes uh, yeah, pretty, pretty much like beef jerky yeah, yeah. Uh, so two rations for Theoen, two rations for each of the four of you. Uh, who gets the silver knife and can put a silver dagger on their sheet? Theoen. Hi. Uh, well, Albrecht, you found it. You're the guy taking the time. So do you want it or you want to ha hand it off? To you know Theon? what? I will actually keep it. He's, Theoen's like not going to drop that axe for love it's, or money. That's you know I mean? true. Like, that's true. And all I've got is a staff. It'd be nice to be able to do a little stabby stabby if I need to. So I'll <laughs> yeah, yeah. take it and I'll tuck it in me belt beside the clan dagger. Okay. 
So, um, you got, is there anything else you guys want to, um, you want to have a go on? Have a go or? In here. Aye. Oh. There's a door to the west, there's a door to the south. Aye. Um, I'll look over at the cleric. So far, so good, lad. Which way do we go? Uh, I say west. Please. Why not? It is. <laughs> go, I'll go, go up to the door and have a listen. Go, go west, young man. <laughs> go west. Life is peaceful there. Can he I, had his third job. <laughs> can, can can I have a um? Can I have Ooh. a perception, sir? Apparently, I wanted to perform instead. Grab the wrong dice. <laughs> walk up to the door. <laughs> doing dancing. a little strut. Do, 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 do. Do and I got? did quite well with a twenty. Okay. Perception of 17. To have a listen. Okay. You hear scuffling, tiny voices, sword clattering, some, shall we say, swearing in common, the clanging of steel. Why, gentlemen, you distinctly, or I should say Al, you distinctly hear the sounds of a battle. Put my hand up. What? There'll be fighting in this room. Cool. So, um, with Al perceiving, and everyone pretty much perceiving, you guys are just wandering around. Do you guys want to, you know, bust into the room and just join an ongoing battle? Do you want to wait for it to simmer down? What What on earth would you do in this situation, gentlemen? Draw I want a weapon. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> my 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 inner dwarf wants me to bust through the door. Unfortunately, my cousin Elbrick is standing in front of said door. Okay. Well, let's let's start with um, perception checks all around. So I'll pull back. Yeah. And, and get into position around the table in the center. Be like, okay. battle plans, gentlemen. Oh, look at that. Twenty-seven oh, Niles. You're very, so very, very perceptive. Very nice. Uh, Theon's on hand will say that Dolgrin can be yelled for, but will probably show up a little late. Oh, look at that. Another natural 20. <whistles> Giving you a 25. Okay. We Albrecht. are so prepared for this. Albrecht, your last uh, perception was 17, so I'm going to yep. cue that in. Sure. Okay. And Theon is looking at the shiny reflection of his axe. I'm just going to keep his former, you know, two. Um <laughs> So, you guys were discussing battle plans, I believe. Drawing weapons. Mm. What uh, you know? Drawing weapons. Yep. Mm -hmm. Raising shield. Okay. <laughs> now, am I going to assume that every round you're going to spend that one action to keep the shield up, unless otherwise stated? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I do. Not want just, to just, just so we're clear, you know. Yep. Okay. Um, Miros, you guys want to get um, into the room here, and uh, you know. Get the plans happening. Hmm. No, I, I'm going to do uh, my best for the dwarven military symbols. Like <laughs> looking at Albert, like eyes, door, door. Can you come in on the mic? Head. It's not pulling you. And so I'm going to make every symbol I can towards uh, Albert. Be like, you want me to attack the door? No. I may want you to attack whatever's in there, though, lad. Right. I haven't even checked to see it. It could be locked for all I know, so maybe you'll have to attack the door. Maybe we'll just ignore it and walk away. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I, I know you're never one for turning your back on a fight, though, cousin. Hey, I know. I'm a, I'm a punch in the throat, even if the door. I'm a punch of door in the throat. I've punched several doors in the throat. This will be all clear. The rounds are ticking by. They are only six seconds each, guys. Yeah. <laughs> just just letting oh. you know, <laughs> the battle won't hold for you. It is ongoing in there. It started before us. It's going to keep going past us. So? Right then. So do we just head south? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm ready sure the for battle <laughs> <laughs> Niles do you want to just go to the door dude oh. 
All right. Okay. So you guys. Oh, both... we've got the lively one. I told you you'd like this guy, Muros. <laughs> I told you. He is spicy. I do say that much about after, him. After a lot of bluster and blister and no moves towards the door. I mean, Al even backed away from the door. And there's Niles going, I got my rapier. I got my buckler. What are we waiting for? <laughs> like, Just go, Joe. <laughs> I will see if the door is locked. No, it is not. Okay. All right. Shall we, boys? Right. Guys, it's flagstones painted entirely black. This room is irregularly shaped and contains a circular sunken arena in its middle. So what I've shown you is the actual arena, but I will now show you the sort of the rest, the upper level. Okay. Okay. The arena's edges are painted deep crimson. And an ominous crimson pentagram fills the center. I'm talking a, like practically 20 feet across pentagram. We see three things in here, Niles. Yeah, yeah. what do I see? You see a human Varesian man wearing full plate armor. Oh. And he is battling tiny, strange, winged, nasty looking horned creatures. Oh. And he is in, you know, he's like, you know, mid battle, mid swing, and he's going to town on these things and they're fluttering around him and, and going at it. And, you know, there's a point where they, they all break off and they're in their positions. So starting a new, like we'll, like we'll start new for you guys. So we'll say it's round one from our perspective. Okay. okay. <laughs> starting with Niles with his mighty 27, who went to the door. Yep. Okay. You open the door as an action, and what? Two left. Get your shield up. Yep. That's two. One left. Yeah. Well, thank you. Now I can see what I'm looking at. <laughs> I'm just. I. I. They, they. They pop up hidden. I was just kind of going with the description of that. At, at least the one I can see. Yep. Ah, uh, human. All right. I will speak to the human. Or try to. Do you need some help? And I will move. Okay. <laughs> yes, there we go. You Let's need see. assistance. Okay. Oh, wrong way. Okay. There we go. Okay. I move directly okay. behind him ish. Yeah. Um not wanting to pull his focus from the creatures, he just quickly glances over his shoulder. You know, and one look, you know, human, hopefully friend, not foe, gives you the stiff nod, like, yep, and uh, goes to move, you know, like accommodate you into the, the, the formation, as it were. Okay. But we'll get more into him on his turn. Okay. So that's you, sir. Um, Muros, Anvil Bender, you're next. Hey, hey. Hey, who? Um, so I see the, the two humans. They're blocking my path, right? Uh, Yep. One's friendly. You can move through them, though. So, I... So, it's like that. One, Which I also two. believe it's it's time for uh, a little battle music. A little... Uh... Yep. Yep. Get our, get our battle jive on. And get that critical deck warmed up. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, I have not forgot. I just cannot wait. <laughs> Can't wait. 15. The dwarves move, what, 20, right? Yes. Uh, that's I think it's 20 or 25, whatever it is. Uh, 20. He's not, he's not speedy yet. Hmm. No. Oh, try, try, no, to, try to land yourself. Uh... Is that something that Monk, Monk gets, though? In Eventually like we do. Okay, Eventually cool. we do. We just have to get past level one. Yeah. Try to, try to, <laughs> try, try to keep it between the lines there. Well, then uh... maybe you should be a little more cautious with what you're doing, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Trying. Trying. So I took a double move. Okay. And to land it beside uh, Tintin 11 right beside me. Mm. Tintin. Tiny. Tintin. Oh, tiny? Yeah. Oh. Also known as Tintin. <laughs> um, there's a there's a pog 
but it's covered with a, an actual condition. And that's why you see like the little man up, but we have tiny yeah. 11 and tiny eight. Um, so checking the actual conditions, there's resistances that it's showing me. So this is just to remind me like that this physical man condition, I should really check the guy and I'm looking at it here and this thing has, you know, immunities, resistances, you know, weaknesses, all kinds of neat stuff. Can you move that far and attack? I can. Wow. That's well, actually, here's where, here's where the gem comes in because I get to do a flurry of blood. Sorry, it's a flurry of baitins. Yeah, I can do flurry of baitins. Baitins. That's what it deserved. Drum roll, please, Muros. Hey, I dug a 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 dug. So several times, I just beat him with my hands several times over. So my first level of beatings. Oh, what was the 12 to beat him? And then my second time around to bait him. It was a 25. All right. So it'll be a what, one what, what one miss and one hit. Let me just uh, pull its target, like pull the target for you. So like when, you, when you do official damage from your actual character sheet, you are you're good to go on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know they're tiny, but you don't have to hunker down, Ryan. You're way off camera there. I am afraid. <laughs> I'm I'm dead. I'm. I'm de deadly afraid of what's going to happen. So yeah. I'm bunkering down. I just love the video image. How this is tiny head peeking off the corner of the video feed. You it's haven't like... died as many times as I have. So bugger off with you. <laughs> All right. It's so a let's scary thing. Let, Meet let's your maker. Let's have this. Um... Damage. Please. Please. Oh, no. Ten points. Hmm. Oh. Heavy. Mm. Oh. I do again. <laughs> Bitch, slap. <laughs> yeah. To the tiny fiend on the left side of our screen. Whoopsh. And Buddy is like, it takes a serious hit and, you know, staggers a bit. And this little thing doesn't seem to be immune to any kind of bludgeoning or, oh, wait a minute. No. Um, <clears throat> it does manage to resist. Now yeah. it's it's telling me it has a resistance to certain I, I'm things. I'm sorry. Are you a dwarf? Yes, it's immune to your damage. No, I'm just, <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying um, for those that are at home, uh, and this is a good thing because they can see the DM view. Your ten points are, has been inflicted to your opponent, but the the people at home can see. No, don't pull up the feed, guys. You buggers. Um, hey, hey, they're hey, immune to fear. I have <laughs> I have the feed up, but it's so small I can't read any good, of the text. Good. So, uh, so I've I've adjusted because there are resistances and immunities and stuff. So if somebody had resistance to physical or silver or, or you know, or. yeah. So anyway, um, just to double check on the actual. Oh, so maybe I shouldn't have the combat tracker open. Because <laughs> it does, it does show everybody's hit points in the combat tracker. Just to let you know. Oh no, you know, because there's that sort of like, hmm, your damage doesn't seem to do as well as you should, and you can deduce the fact that you know, ten points, and this thing gets badly hurt, but it resisted three of them from the bludgeoning from the physical. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, I just didn't want to like, I didn't want to spill all that like just with a single hit, you know. No, that that's okay because I really, I don't really have a lot of other pools to pull from. <laughs> he doesn't have a lot of moves or a lot of. Uh, yeah. I'm like, guess what my next move would be if I had one. I'm like, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna hit it again. <laughs> all right, so the mysterious male human warrior um, immediately moves in concert goes straight along the wall and since you seem to be attacking one of its foes he goes for the other one it's so i'm going to pull up this guy and target the other little nasty and buddy has a great sword going to town 
course he does. He's because he's a min maxer. Yep. And with a 19, oh, almost. <laughs> Gets a critical on the nasty uh, little thing. Um, and critical with a great sword, I believe, is double damage, is it not? Mm -hmm. Now, I, I forget, Joe. Do we add the strength in here? I just do a double click? Uh, yeah. Or do I just double the dice? Everything. Everything okay. is doubled, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I remember. I, I'm actually very experienced okay. in this. So if you want, right. I'm actually kind of a specialist now. So even with one click, the wonderful people at Roll uh, at roll Fantasy Grounds, uh, as I roll in Fantasy Grounds, <laughs> safe. Roll <laughs> so I'm rolling D20s in Fantasy Grounds, safe. Uh, damage, 1d12 plus 4 slashing, and it has accommodated me and done extra dice and 14 points of damage El Slasho to this nasty little bugger. And guess what? It has actually already done the math for me and resisted 3 points. So instead of 14, the little dude has only taken 7. So I'm or wondering... Is this humans too, guys. Be careful. Yeah, but it didn't automatically do it for you. Probably so, doesn't resist him. <laughs> well, it has a resistance to physical damage. Both my sword and your beaten are physical. So Bacon. it's either a glitch or I just want to make sure you get the damage. Are too. monks' fists considered magical weapons for the purpose of calculating damage yeah. resistance? Eventually the they will be. But not, not right off the bat. No. Good weapons. Okay. Level mm -hmm. one, I'm like, they're just beat sticks. Clubs. Okay. So, um, taking the move, sword already drawn, taking a swipe and getting a decent hit. He just goes to town on this thing. That's just only decent. two. A that's only two actions, and I'm gonna have another go at this guy and gets another hit and more damage. And he just just lays into this thing. It's almost like Theros with that little fireman fit. You know, he's I'm just going you. just going to town anyway. We um, should have been NPCs. I told two, you. <laughs> two big slices, and the thing drops and stops moving for the moment. Albrick, you're up. And the, and the peasants oh, right. Yeah. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> do your magic. Oh, sorry. I meant to say do your magic more like rhetorical than the fact that you're actually probably going to do your magic. Yeah. Yay. I will move to there. Can you be a little so, bit more so, descriptive of yay, move there for the podcast? Okay, so I, I'll, I'm going to leave the room I was in, go past the table out the door, and take a stance just in the corner of that room right in front of Niles. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the one that um, the warrior beat is on the ground. And the one in front of Muros is still flitting away. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's flipping me off, I swear. I got a little demon finger pointing at me. I right. think he's trying to push up his sunglasses, but Speaking I... Speaking of demon finger, I reach out <laughs> my hand, pointing a finger at that infernal being. Do I know what it is? <laughs> Actually, it's all a question. Do you care to spend an action to do the old little bit of uh, knowledge renown or recall? No, I'm just going to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> they give you three actions. Three actions, ladies and gentlemen, around, and we get stingy now. Fine. <laughs> cast. What? what do you cast? Oh, He's wrong. casting shield. And that's not the right one. <laughs> yes, it says so, but again, we also have a pod casting audio audience. You know. Uh, Come on, man. You're like in four in, I podcasts. It, I actually, ha <laughs> I have it in here. It should work. Okay. If I just do that. Oh, can you target me on the uh, imp in front of Euros? Yes, sorry. Um, Before I do that. Okay. So you cast shield on it? No, I that was the wrong yeah. icon. Uh, the fight wasn't tough enough. <laughs> just making your opponent tougher just for Cast the challenge. Cast Ray of Frost. Oh, okay. So a, a ray of cold energy leaps forth from my finger across the room past Miros and strikes the tiny fiend hey, with an attack fucking... of 23 Thank for you. a hit. Oh, Ooh. snap. That's, here, pay attention, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. <laughs> nice, Nicely worded. And? and I do 1d4 plus my spell casting modifier in damage. Which it's funny that's not automatically put into here, but anyways, I will. Uh, it's my spell casting modifier plus three. So 1d4 plus three. See, n now, Miros, we, we should chat. 
it might not. <laughs> while he's looking stuff up, not while he's trying there to talk you go. So for, for four damage. Okay. And you'll have to input that because it doesn't automatically roll through the ability. All right. Uh, we. Ice damage, by the way. Okay. Pew, pew, pew. And you know what? <laughs> pew, pew, pew. <laughs> that, I believe, is the end of my turn. I actually healed him. Sorry. Oh, right. Here we go. I'm like, why are the numbers turning green? Green is good. No. Wait. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> Dropping that. Sorry. Getting used to the thing. Okay. Well done, sir. Well played. Any actions left? You are done? That's it. That's it. That's all three. Okay. It is time for Tiny Fiends. One is at zero hit points. It's time to play the stabilization game. But I'm a summoned outsider. So... I don't know if I actually can do that. I might just poof away. I might just die in the spot. Maybe I'm bleeding out. But he's not moving. If I'm not moving, he's not apparently doing anything. And that's irrelevant to the battle. So we'll just skip over him. We'll worry about his condition later. To the one that's still kicking. And Muros, you are the closest thing I got. Hey, what do you want to do to touch me? So targeting the big man himself. Hey. Th this creature is, f now, now remember I said flitting about, okay? It's flying. Uh, now it was hovering, flap, flap, you know, down at our height so that we could, so it could hit us and we could hit it. Um, and it still does, you know, stay in like striking distance. But just so you guys know, it's a tiny creature that is flying around head level, as it were, and has a go, does a little, you know, round your circled head, Flyby sees the nice chrome dome and has a go with its stinger. It's giving me the fruit fly approach. Exactly. And with a twenty-seven hits Muros in the, in the back in the back <laughs> barely, of the barely, barely. Yep. You take two points of stinger piercing damage. You take two points of some sort of other plainly nasty, not good vibe, evil damage. Yes, there's a new type of damage in town, gentlemen. It's called evil damage. Evil. Right, so how do I get to do that then? <laughs> yeah. Solid question. Um, but because I'm a tiny creature, that you'll notice the negative one. So the D4 from the piercing actually is D4 negative one because it's such a tiny stinger. Reducing total damage to three. Hey, hey. They're getting beaten enough as is. You don't have to add insult to injury. Poor no. little lad. I'm sure your stinger is just the right size. <laughs> Don't make fun of it. Well, let's talk about what's in the stinger. Let's not. That's disgusting. Injected poison. Ooh. Oh, yes. Remember, we did, we did poisons last week from the spiders. No, we didn't. Because <laughs> we're dwarves. Be, we're a dwarf. Dwarf. Be, a, be a dwarf, Ryan. Be a dwarf. Hey, 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 hey. So we have a maximum duration. We have stages of what happens to you. Stage one, stage two. It does not seem to have any onset time. And because it's an injected poison, it's pretty much immediate. But there's no reflex this time to last oh. second brush it away. It, you know, nastily, like a huge wasp bee sting in the side of your neck, gets you, injects you with happy, happy imp venom. And I right. need a fortitude saving throw, please. Just so we're all clear. That's hmm. disgusting the way you say it. Happy, happy. Impact. Hey, you you guys were making fun of the size of my stinger, so there you Ten. go. <gasps> stage one. Let's talk about stage one. Muros' oh, head explodes. <laughs> <laughs> this, this stuff stays active in your system for six rounds. Oh, hey. And this is round one. <laughs> and I believe at the end of the round or on your turn, or just to keep things simple on its turn. Okay, so something for us to look up in the week. And by us, I mean Joe. I, I have a network to run, sorry. And other shows. Um, I believe that you fail the saving throw. You immediately um, are stage one for one round. And we'll go to stage two later. After a save. After, okay. Well, stage one is uh, D6 poison. And he becomes clumsy for one round. Stage two, I'm assuming you would have to like fail two saves in a row. 
on his turn. Yeah. Ba basically, whenever the onset time is, mm -hmm. and then the duration. If it's if there is no onset and there is no duration, then it's every round. There's a maximum roll. duration. This is going to run six rounds unless yeah. he can you know save out of it. So every time he rolls, mm -hmm. then he either passes or fails. If he passes, he goes up one category. If he fails, he goes down a category. Now it says duration six rounds. Does that mean I get six rounds of poison in him regardless? And he just comes out. He just comes out the other end. Like I, I, the first save doesn't clear him up. Uh, this is the first save, so he failed. Next yep. round, he gets another save. If he fails again, he gets the second condition. Stage two, yeah. Okay, but what about... But if, he stage... succeed, if he succeeds, yeah. he goes up a stage. From stage uh, yeah. one to stage zero, we stop? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, no, so Jose is basically saying that I get superpowers if I save it enough. But, well, if, you, you, but that... if you critically fail... You know, out of that swarm, I had a D. <laughs> I, I, I had somebody else superpowers. <laughs> I had D one hundred for that swarm, and if I rolled one hundred, you would have got bit by the radioactive spider. But sorry, no superpowers <laughs> for you. Um, all right, so we're gonna go with a D six poison. Oh man, I, that could make an interesting game. Sorry, I just told you. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> what? Superpower, Wait, he got superpowers poisoned in the Pathfinder world? <laughs> yeah, so not fair. I wanted to get poisoned. Fight me! <laughs> Miros, I... you, ta you take five points. Ooh, that's nasty. Taking you up to eight wounds total because you've already suffered three All from right. the stinger. So you're at a total of yeah. eight points of damage. The Stinger okay. of Ink Venom. Describe it the same way every time. Theron. Theron. The Wait. guy with the axe. Comes rushing in. One, two, three, four. It's 20 feet. What's going on? You know? Five. Can't stop in Niall's position. Or sorry, five in Elbrick's position. Um, so has to continue a move. So... He's, basically double moves to get to, to the, kill something. Uh, he, he only moves uh, 15. 15 feet per round. Oh, that's right. The Hell Knight armor. That's right. So that's 15 there. One, <laughs> one, two, three. <sighs> I'm coming. <laughs> but I believe um, he does have that running while you attack feet thing where you get to move and then attack at the end of your movement. Sudden charge. That's right. it. Sudden yeah. charge. I but he's he got to he's that. got to make like a, a forty five turn, and he has no. He starts his round. He doesn't see an opponent. He doesn't have line of sight. So he comes. He moves an action fifteen feet. Now he can take in the room. If he sudden charges from here, he gets what thirty feet and an attack. Get uh, double your stride, and at the end of your stride, if yep. you can do a melee attack, you immediately do a melee attack. Yeah. If which he only has two actions left. At that. That's part of sudden. Yes. Stride. Okay. So he moves into position, and then you guys are telling me he could do a sudden stride on this thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, problem being, or he's got to he, he's got to run on an angle, so he's going to go five, fifteen. No, oh, he can do it. Yeah. Okay. Barely. S so yep. yeah. Just. Oh, 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 just. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll we'll give it to him. So pick it up, old Theo, in here. And it's, you know, it's time to give him the axe. You need to come up with the... He like leaps a... into the air. You have to yeah, say that yeah. first. You <laughs> have to say that first. Uh, 26 and... Oh, uh... crap. <laughs> <laughs> he just leaps into the air doing a forward somersault. I'm not burning his hero... Hand. I'm not going to burn his hero points for him. <laughs> no, you don't need to. Not with that. No, those, are, those, are, those are hero point moves. I don't know what you're talking about. You're saying, you're saying I exaggerate or something? You, you hear a point. They got you know. You want that Memphis back to burn down the town? We could reverse time. It was a perfect, pretty good use of a hero point. You guys are just bitching because you didn't. You know, never mind. Never mind. Moving on. Theos is in there. Give me all wound up. Theo is in there. Theo gets a hit, Target. and here comes Theo's wonderful damage versus this tiny helpless innocent flapping hadn't done anything to anybody yet and just bats it out of the air axe style opens up a gash on its chest and it falls to the ground not moving hmm. round two niles <laughs> what do you do everybody's killed everything <laughs> what the hell? 
<laughs> <laughs> well, there is the guy. I don't know. <laughs> just uh... hey, hey, let's go stab him in the back. No. Uh, just run up. <laughs> Attack oh, the nearest man. dwarf. Aha. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Hmm. Just to make sure. I will move. Okay. To yep. There. And sticky, move. sticky. <laughs> yep, he's doing. He's he's doing the. Um, you know, I will poke it with my vapor. Are you dead yep. yet? Yep, finishing it off. Yeah, J just in okay. case. I don't. Yep. Know. Uh, can you target that guy for me? Just, I probably don't need it, but. Hey, hey, I got a better idea. Can you tell us how we target things ourselves, so we don't have to ask you every time? Um. Well, as a player, you can just drop your dice on top of the baddie. But it was it seemed to glitch. The rolling the was weird, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, there you go. And, and it's good. I know. Tink, it was, you know it's the stones beside it. Ah! <laughs> Take that wall. Yeah. Um, anyway, this thing is not moving and helpless, and I believe they have like a coup de gras full round action. You just you know, the old ketchup bottle. Do 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 do. do just tap it down there. <laughs> Murals. Hey. What do you do? I live. <laughs> Wait, there's nothing left for me to attack, right? I said they're down. I never said they were dead. Um, I assume they're dead. Are they moving? Well, Niles isn't letting this one give a chance to regain consciousness. It lies there for a moment, eyes roll back in its head, and the, the, the young cleric swiftly moves to your side and just starts poking the crap out of it with his rapier. So <laughs> I don't you know think what? that one, it's kind of jouncing around on the end of his like stick. You know, there's, there's kind of movement, but not the movement you're looking for. I, you know what? I think he he needs this. So I'm going to let him have it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Uh, so so, I'm gonna let so that, I'm going to I'm gonna let that slide. Okay. Because I, I, he really seems like he needed it. All right. And I, and I, I must settle. What does the uh, clumsy status ailment do to you? <laughs> Probably oh, nothing oh, we're, positive. We're getting to that. I just want to know what he does, and then we're going to hit okay. him with some more venom. All right. Um, I want to just settle up towards Albert. Okay. Right. And I just kind of want to give the whole like the hand on the shoulder. Like, I got you. I want to. I want to aid Albert with his next move. Yeah. Which is what you're hoping he's going to give you a medicine check? <laughs> no, well, I 100. percent I got that. I, I personally think I have whatever's going on with me, but I want to aid Albrick, whatever with whatever his next move is. Okay, so you're delaying. Sure. Okay, so you move. Yeah. So you've done something this round. So I'm going to hit you with a good old venom. So let's have a fortitude save, please. Yep, gladly. Okay. I will take a fortitude. And I Be roll a, a dwarf. 20, 24. That's and, right. And you save. So you don't ha. move to stage two. You are at stage one. And I believe, yeah, I believe you go to zero as, as long, long, long as we're not buggering this terrible and you, you feel a little better. Yeah. And I and I want to aid Albert. You, you flex and a little bit of the black venom ichor just kind of oozes out of the hole in your neck and you're good. <laughs> not, not paying attention. I was like, hey, Albert, that human is not too bad, eh? Look at him, he's stabbing. He's stabbing the fuck out of that little lizard. I mean, he's stabbing it right in the throat. Look at it. So speaking of humans, now it's time for the male human warrior. And <laughs> taking advantage of the little lizard. Without hesitating, he beheads the nasty little thing with a smirk of satisfaction and turns to Theoen and says, one always must be sure these nasty things are really finished off. It seems my predecessors are here. Perhaps they lost sight of that. Once done, he pulls a length of black cloth from his pouch on his belt and wipes the gore from his sword. I thank you for your assistance, by the way. I suspect you're not looters. Who are you then, if you please? Parley? <laughs> I ate Albrecht. This is the man that stands before you. And while he's asking, he's checking out our shoddy Hell Knight in fake patched armor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's mm -hmm. just looking him up and down. Mm -hmm. Theoen's the, you know, the closest guy. I think he follows Seren Ray. <laughs> that is the ugliest butterfly I've ever seen. <laughs> Soul. 
pleased to make your acquaintance. My name is Albrick. Hey, Albrick, Albrick, Albrick. And uh, just pulling his shoulder from the corner. Yeah, you want, you want to punch him in the face? Just settle down, lad. Always with the punching. No, I don't want you to punch him in the face. All right, fine. We fine. came to this town to make friends, lad. All right, fine, fine, fine. I'm not going to punch him in the face, but I'll go over there and have him hit a fucking wall. And you don't have to deal with that, okay? Did you if do what you want to to the walls? Just don't bring the bleeding roof down on our heads. Hey, hey, hey. Anyways, anyways. This talking of lad here is my cousin Muros. Hey, hey. That's me other cousin Theon. And this is Niles. Hey. <laughs> and who <laughs> might you be? He says, Forgive me, my manners. My name is Alak Stagram. It is so nice to meet you in this, and he kind of makes a sweeping uh, motion, in this uh, clean and well-kept place. Indeed, indeed. Tell me, have you seen any more of these bloody hell monkeys? And he starts, like, panning around the rafters. He's just kind of looking, you know, making sure that nothing's going to come out of this. No, no, but we did run into a huge mess of spiders and a fuzzy lady that we took care of a few rooms over. So what brings you to these hollowed holes? Well, as I stated earlier, my name is Alex Dagram, Armiger of the Order of the Nail, formerly of Citadel Alderain, currently of Citadel Varad in Varigia. He gives a formal bow. How nice to meet you. Indeed. He wears Hell Knight armor, modern Hell Knight armor. So again, actually, no, <laughs> the picture lies. I'm reading about this guy. Got it together. Come on, man. <laughs> it literally has him in the full Punisher skull, Hell Knight modern armor. And one of the things you can ask him is, are you a Hell Knight? And he's like, why aren't you wearing the Hell Knight armor? He's like, no, I don't. <laughs> what? Don't you love it when the artist and the writer don't get together? <clears throat> okay. In the meantime, distraction off the side. All right. You hear? Like, if you look, like, for the first five minutes, you hear Moros, he starts doing, like, backflips for practice, like, near, uh, 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 one, uh, 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 two, and he gets a ten, but then he gets lazy, and then he's expecting people to, like, to hear it, and if you look over, you see him do, like, just a little jump in, one, two, <laughs> pretending to be acrobatic in a corner yes 100 percent. well we can see if you can uh, give us spam us a bunch of acrobatics checks and we'll Done. see if you can keep that up for a week because we'll see you next time and dice wise <laughs> entertainment presents age of ashes say good night everybody good night everybody good night, good night. Good night.